everyone. Today I wanted to show you uh, the simulator in a bit of a larger um, domain. Uh, so if I look closely at the cubes, they are made up of individual particles themselves. They actually don't have to be cubes, they can pretty much be any. Uh, I just haven't really uh, gotten the voxels import porting yet. Uh, but yeah, that is the actual scale of the voxels, but uh, basically you have like this whole world um, once you go up above and it's just a bit more of a like a sparser, it's a sparse test. Um, uh, basically the full size of the grid is 512 by 512 by 128. But as long as the food is only um, occupying part of it, it can uh, be pretty quick. I mean, it's, the, the speed is based on the number of particles and not the grid size. I can move everywhere around. The whole uh, thing is simulated. Nothing is um, sleeping either. Like none of the rigid bodies are sleeping. Right now it's at a really uh, slow frame rate of around 60 to 70 frame, around 70 frames per second, but I'm pretty sure I can double it again. Um, currently there's just uh, some things that are just not optimized yet since I just, uh, I just started using the larger size. Basically I added like this voxel model and then it felt like the world was like too cramped so I've expanded to, uh, so the next couple of days I worked on improving the sparse performance so that in a like larger world, it doesn't have any, it doesn't slow down the simulation at all. Um, yeah, so it's large, um, both vertically as well. You can go up quite high. Drop the... Yeah, that's about it for today's demo. Thanks for watching.